Art in the Garden 2022 returns to Allegan this spring following cancellations in 2020 and 2021. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm News 8 Digital Anchor Luke Lasser from the Wood TV Live Desk this afternoon. Joining me is Clarissa McDonald. She's a guest here at the Live Desk this afternoon. She's a volunteer for the event. Clarissa, good afternoon. Thanks for taking some time to chat with us. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me today. So tell me a little bit about Art in the Garden here. Well, Art in the Garden has um, been put on for the last 12 years, and then we, of course, had to take a two-year hiatus uh, with everything that was going on. It's presented by the Elegant Area Arts Council, and it's a, a wonderful event that um, the people around the area have enjoyed coming to, uh, really get you in the, the mood and ready for spring with gardening and art and jewelry. Um, oh, all kinds of different items that local artists make and everything is made by hand um, from uh, landscape vendors will be there. Like I said, many artists with paintings, photographers, jewelry, clothing, uh, you name it. And then um, that is in the inside of the silo, which is on M40 South behind the Grill House restaurant in Allegan. Um, so the vendors will be inside, and then they also have vendors outside that have large sculptures for gardens, um, and uh, local landscape companies bring flowers and such and have large displays outside as well. So we're hoping for nice, warm, beautiful weather. So after the past two years of being canceled, you know, that gives you a lot of time to brainstorm. What's new compared to, um, you know, two years ago when the last time that this event was actually being able to uh, been held? Um, really, the, the only difference is that um, the event has been such a huge success over the years that we try to keep most of it the same, but we always have new vendors and artists from around Southwest Michigan signing up to come and show their wares. And so we have several new ones already signed up for this year. And um, again, the, the main um, part with the uh, displays and vendors and such, we try to keep the same because it's been a very hugely popular event over the years. So since it's spanned, you know, longer than a decade here, how important is actually getting it back after this two-year break? Oh, so important. We, we, we had people last year and the year before asking if there was any way that the event would be able to take place. Um, we thought about maybe having everything outside with tents and such. But again, we try to have it um, in April every year before everything really gets going and blooming in May. And um, it's just so hard to predict what the weather is going to be with keeping it how it is with a lot of the vendors inside and some outside we knew that it would be better for everybody, um, but very, very excited. Um, the response that we've had from the community has been tremendous, and everybody's looking forward to having a, a wonderful, wonderful festival inside again. So getting involved, both vendors and those who are just interested in going, how do they do that? Um, um, there are a couple vendor spots left, not too many, um, and they can reach out to the Elegant Area Arts Council website, or they can go to the Elegant Area Art Council's Facebook page, and you will see that there's posters and information there of who to contact. Um, so there's a couple spots left for vendors, not very many. Now for the general public as well, we've been doing lots of marketing and getting ready to do even more for the event, but they also can find all of that right at the Elegant Area Arts Council's website and Facebook page. Tell me a little bit about the, the council itself. Um, what else does the, uh, the Arts Council do, you know, aside from Art in the Garden here? Well, they have many, many events throughout the year. Um, all the members, of course, are, are from our local area and are actual artists themselves. Uh, they have different classes that they do for adults as well as um, high school student ages, as well as little kids, which is kind of fun. Um, and then they also do a couple other fundraisers throughout the year. And again, all that information would be right there on the website and at the Facebook page. And um, again, this is one of their largest fundraisers of the year. So they're very excited to have it back this year with the council, of course, being a nonprofit organization. How many members on that council? Um, I'm not sure of the exact number. If um, it would be on the website, if I had to guess, I would say there's probably close to 150, but I can't be definitely sure on that. Gotcha. In terms of dates and location, if you could just share those. 
Yes, the Art in the Garden is going to be on Saturday, April 9th. It's going to be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And again, that will be taking place at the Silo, which is located behind the Girl House Restaurant on M40 South in Allegan, Michigan. And we'd love to have you all come and join us. Clarissa, we really appreciate your time. Anything else that you'd like to add or put out there? No, thank you for having us and let's get the information out to everybody that's watching today and then have a, a great Monday. Enjoy the sunshine and warmth. We'll hope for the same on the day of our event. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just tuned in halfway through the stream or maybe are just now tuning in, you can head over to woodtv.com. There's a link attached to the stream. It'll take you over to the website where you're able to find our full conversation there. I'm News 8 Digital Anchor Luke Laster here again from the Wood TV Live Desk, folks. Clarissa, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great afternoon. We'll see you around. Thank you, Luke.